Zuzu Valdesta, 1012 North Ashley, open Monday through Friday, 9 till 7.30, Saturday, 9 till 6. Most banks offer the same financial services. The difference is how these services are delivered. At Park Avenue Bank, they give each of their customers personal attention, and you always get friendly, helpful service, whatever your banking needs. Park Avenue Bank is Valdosta's only locally owned bank. It's dedicated to Valdosta and the people of this area. At Park Avenue Bank, the primary goal is meeting banking needs of the people right here at home and promoting our local prosperity. They put you first at Park Avenue Bank. Joe Williams and Bill Ryan back at Cleveland Field as we get ready to start the second half. Our college took the opening kickoff and were never able to do much. The Blazers took over defensively and taking advantage of Clark College offensive mistakes at good field position all night long. Keith Moore has done his thing, a 52-yarder. All three quarterbacks have seen action. All the receivers, the running backs. There's quite a few of the freshmen that may be counted on later on that defensive line have had some playing time and that's important of course at midfield the, the officials Nelson Bolick and the Clark College captain Blazers will receive re and defend the east goal the one down by William Street that was Samuel Nelson Captain of Clark College and the Panthers now come out onto the field. 28 0, dot off the state. It's not over yet. A full half to go. And you don't want to sit on it and get comfortable at this point in time. That league could evaporate on you in a hurry. So I'm looking down there and I cannot see Jerome Jackson's number. And that uh, hopefully is not a real bad sign, but uh, certainly more. <laughs> It must be more than just a minor injury, or he'd probably be back out there by now. He was only down for a couple of moments before they got him off the field. But he has not returned, not reappeared. We hear about the condition of both him and Renfro. We'll let you know, of course. It'll be interesting to see how the Blazers approach the second half offensively. They've got somewhat of a lead, and we've already seen Coach Bobby Johns and Head Coach Jim Goodman uh, bring in a lot of new players on offense, third-string quarterback, and uh, a lot of ru new running backs, new linemen, and it'll be interesting to see how what their philosophy will be this second half, how they will approach it. All right, the official call for the teams to come to the field. They'll put it on the tee. After this 30 second timeout, Blazer Football Network. If America ever had an official taste, it might very well be the taste of Coca Cola. And now there's a new way to enjoy that great cola taste with new caffeine free Coke. The can is gold. The taste from Coke. Judge it against any caffeine-free cola. Judge it on big taste, deep refreshment, everything you want from your cola. Coke or new caffeine-free Coke. Either way, you'll say... Coke is it. And we're getting set to go. Derek Harris. Back deep around his own four-yard line, Bill. Shorty, as his teammates call him. He's been called that ever since he was in junior college. He played junior college ball up in... Uh, Upstate New York with Lenny Parker, and he played with Mark Katana, who, of course, is a member of the Pittsburgh Steelers right now. He made the final cut. He's playing defensive end there, the first Blazer to make it onto a pro football roster. Uh, Harris just a couple yards away last season from leading the nation in kickoff returns. A very dangerous and exciting player. All right, we're all set. Kicking for Clark College. Kainda Kedoya, a freshman out of Nigeria. Pitch McCarty had to go a long way to get that That name could have been more difficult to pronounce than that. <laughs> <laughs> and we're all set. The official says, bring it. And he gets a pretty good foot into it. Harris will take it at his five, six yard line. Put a wall in front of him. Guiding the way, he breaks out to the outside, drops the football. What happens? Who's got it? Around the 23-yard line. Clark College says they have it, and they do. Not a good way to start the second half. Harris cutting to the outside. He looked like he might have a seam there, a hole. 
and they stripped it of him right on the 25, and <laughs> Clark College starts off the second half in pretty fair shape field position-wise. Certainly not what the VSC offense and the coaches have in mind. And I see oh. the first-team defense in there right now again. Clark College, their first scoring opportunity of the night from the Blazer 27-yard line. Quarterback is the left-hander, Smith. Two men out to the left, two men out to the right. He has a single setback. The Blazers and a spread 5-2, five, 5-3. Five, and he drops straight back the throw. Got time. Got a man open and knocked down at the last moment by number 15 or number 35, Timmy Massey. Good diving deflection by Massey. He had that guy open around the 18-yard line. Massey's the only player that has played every Valdosta State football game since the program's inception. From Woodbine, Georgia, played his high school ball at Camden County High down there. And uh, Timmy's got a wealth of experience back there, and he makes plays like that regularly. McCrary, the intended receiver. Second down and 10 from the VSC 27. Same formation, four receivers, single setback. No. Dropping back. Now under pressure, scrambling, and puts one up for grabs down in the corner, deflected nicely by Harris, who got position right at the goal post, right at the corner the marker, up the post, and went up and deflected it. Ball was underthrown that time by uh, Smith. He was getting a lot of pressure from Jesse Tuggle, the sophomore end from Griffin, who was in there chasing him around, and the ball was over, underthrown, and Harris timed his leap perfectly and just batted it right out of the way. Another new face for Clark, that was Leon Booker at the flanker spot. The intended receiver. Third down and 10. Just underway, third quarter. The Blazers lead it 28 to nothing. Long huddle for Clark. And the head official, head referee, puts the whistle into his mouth and stares at the wristwatch. Split back, and he throws the flag. Too much time. You can see that's coming. And again, another one of those simple, costly, metal mistakes. And they've been costing Clark all night long. This is a very important down to them offensively. If, uh, for them to have any chance of getting back into this ball game down 28 to nothing, Clark has to convert on this about uh, off the state mistake. 32-yard line, third down and 15. Panthers break the huddle. Some discussion going on there, perhaps confusion. Smith slowly walking up to the center. Got a slot back to the left and right side. Dropping straight back. He got somebody all over him. The struggle just missed him. He falls, drops the football. Who's got it? A pileup back at the 42-yard line. Who recovered it? Clark College. One of those linemen. Dan Russell. Tuggle chasing him around. And when Smith planted his feet to go the other way, he dropped the football. Fourth down and a bunch. They'll kick. Line of scrimmage, the 41 and a half of DSC. Harris will go back in single safety. And we'll stay around the 10-yard line. Correction, we're going to get a field goal attempt. This one will be a 57-yard attempt. And that looks like Booker's number. They've called to kick it. Now we got a flag. So they have game. They won't kick the field goal now. They won't kick it now. I wouldn't think. 62 yards. Punting team comes on. There's this. A lot of confusion on the side of Clark College well, tonight. A moment ago, the Panthers had a first and 10 at the Valdosta State 26 and a half yard line. They now have a fourth and 29 just across the 45. Pitts will stand at his own 40. Harris at his 10. The Blazers don't get much pressure on him. Wobbly kick. Harris will take it at the 15. Up the middle. It's a little hole. 35 30. 40. One man horse called him, slowed him down. Another guy caught up with him at the 45 yard line. One man horse called him, slowed him down. And that lets Oric Cowan, a freshman, catch up with him 
and drop him at the 45, 46 yard line. Good return of about 30 yards. First and 10, Blazers, your quarterback, Mallory. That's what Wide Derek right, Cody. Is. Wide left, Grusall. Option play, Mallory keeping right side, finds a hole, jumps in there for four or five yards across midfield. To the Clark College, 30 or 49, rather. Again, good instincts on the part of Mallory as a runner. He's, he's got that knack for finding the hole to get that little extra yardage. He just kind of feels his way through the defense, and before you know it, he's got five yards there. Same formation. Tight five, four, three now for Clark College. Rolling right, under pressure. They'll sack Mallory back at his own 45-yard line. Somebody broke through in a hurry. Number 68, he's not on our roster. That has some number. Yes, he is. That, he, that's one of the changes they made, wasn't it? No, he did All the changes yes, okay, were on that's offense. Mark Shaw was also the right offensive guard, a 275-pounder. That's who that is. Getting some double duty tonight. You don't see that very often anymore in college football. And in motion, Cody coming to the left side. Back to throw, looking, rolling left, got time. Had a man in the seam and missed him. At the 40-yard line of Clark College, it'll bring up fourth and 10 for the Blazers. Good protection for Mallory that time, but uh, something happened between the quarterback and the wide receiver. The ball thrown behind Drew Salt. Blazers having to punt for only the second time in the game. Blazers have not completed much in the way of their passing game, and uh, you wonder if yeah, that's not causing considerable concern right now. They put the heat on Mallory, but he gets off a booming spiral. Going way back to the one, two yard line, fumble. There's a blazer down there. Who's got it? BSC touchdown! Kenny Jennings. Well, just another one of those Clark College mistakes. Uh, the deep man had the ball and hit him right in the hands and bounced right off into the end zone. Kenny Jennings alertly right there on the spot dives on it and the Blazers add to their lead and add to Clark College's misery. 34 nothing early third quarter. Keith Moore to put it up. Hunter to hold. This time the offensive line comes out of that trick play formation. Remember they pulled off a two pointer out of that. Put the rifle up there and it's good. 11.35 to go, third quarter. Got off the state, 35. Clark College, nothing. Back in 30 seconds on the uh, Blazers football network. Don't get down in the dumps this winter fretting over that old inefficient heating system. Call Scruggs Heating and Air at 242-6350. Scruggs Heating and Air is a participating dealer in Georgia Power's Good Sense Heating and Cooling Program and is interested in checking that old inefficient system and replacing it with a reliable, high-efficient heat pump. So call Scruggs Heating and Air today and quit fretting over that old worn-out system. That's Scruggs Heating and Air, 242-6350. Joe Williams and Bill Ryan back at Cleveland Field. Keith Moore tees it up at the 40. And once more, Clark College will try to get something going on offense. 35 to nothing. BSC. And we have a long way to go in the second half. The official says bring it. Moore. Put his foot into it. Coming down at the five to the 10. Somebody slicing through there and knocked him off balance and they finally drag him down. Francis at the 23 yard line. Not sure they hit him first back around the 10, got him off balance, but a pretty good return. For a while there, it looked like something might develop. Robert C. Williams, his second return tonight. But the hole closed fairly quickly. First and 10, their own 22 yard line. Clark College. And again, we get substitution on the Blazer defense. Scott Mowry, one of the linebackers. In the middle of the line, Dan Strickland. Hand off at the middle. Nothing there. He might have gotten two. Tough going. 
for the fullback, Curtis Lyon. Stacked up in the middle. Ryan Grubb. Another linebacker in the game now, a freshman out of Leesville, South Carolina. 6'1", 214. Back to the nine. Receivers out wide, right and left. A man in the slot on the right side. Blazers in a 4-3, four, 4-4. Four, four, four. Plenty of time to throw in the middle. We got contact. That was obvious. Dennis Smith went right over, right the, over the top of the receiver, James Spencer, before the ball got there. Around the 37-yard line. It'll be good for a first down. Yes. 15 yards. Well, let's see. 15 yards after the loss earlier. That uh, wasn't a loss. Yes, he'll get a first down out there. Remember, college football now. Well, you know, sometimes the nasty bunch gets a little over-anxious, and uh, Dennis Smith just there about a second before the ball did. It was an obvious call. No complaints from the Blazer defensive captain. College football this year. The pass interference penalty is 15 yards from the line of scrimmage. It's good for a first down up to the 35. Blazer football all season long on WAAC FM and WTOV AM Valdosta. Back to the nine again. And one man in close on the spot. Receivers wide, right and left. Pitch back, left side, looking for a hole. They'll knock him down for a loss. Nowhere to go. Charles Reeves couldn't turn it up before Tuggle and others were, were there to knock him down. And Strickland. Sophomore off of that Pierce County team over in Patterson, Georgia. 10 09, 10 08, third quarter, 35, nothing fell out to state. Blazers showing a 4 3 defense right now. Same formation, back to Nanai. Smith, perhaps audibleizing here, he's counting. Some confusion. And he gets it off just in time. Bowling left, wants to throw. Deflected and dropped. Right at the 45-yard line. The receiver and the defender with a chance to get a hand on it. Who deflected the football, Bill? Well, it's Mark Lawson, a junior out of Sneeds, Florida, who's, who's uh, a player that's had a, quite a bit of experience as a backup linebacker in the Blazer unit. Got his hand up there. Otherwise, the receiver was open and would have made the catch. It'll bring up third. And 15. Line of scrimmage just shy of the 30-yard line. The Panthers, their own. Smith brings them up there. Single step back, four receivers. Blazers drop off into a 3-4. Rolling left, wants to throw. They're going to get a call at the line. Plenty of time to throw. Got a man wide open. It's a 45 and dropped there. But some lineman drug one of the defenders down in broad open daylight in front of everybody. That was obvious. People in the stands were holding. That flag went down right there. That's going to nullify what was a fine completion by Smith. Yeah, and a first down, too. There it is, holding. One of those offensive linemen. Blazer defender down. Another penalty. Another third and forever for the Panthers. Up third and 26, 27. And when it's that long, it's almost academic how far it is sometimes. Very frustrating game, I'm sure, for Coach Jesse McClarty at Star College. Two receivers wide left, one man out to the right. We get a flag or a whistle, an official timeout. Just as Smith went under the center, they had an equipment problem called on one of those receivers. That's Spencer having a jersey modification made. It was an official timeout. And Clark College will return to the huddle. 9.06 to go, third quarter, plenty of time. And I believe, has Clark College been charged with a timeout here? I believe they have. Yes, they have, Joe. All right, let's I take one ourselves. 9.06, third quarter. 
The Blazers 35, the Panthers nothing. Back in 30 seconds, Blazer Football Network. Satisfaction guarantee. It's our Isuzu half-price sale in progress right now. Saving a short wheelbase four-speed gas pickup as low as $54.95 plus freight and tax. We need to sell 60 trucks by September 14th, year in closeout time. Hurry in now. Isuzu Valdosta, get you rolling down the road. Isuzu Valdosta, open Monday through Friday, 9 till 7.30, Saturday, 9 till 6. Back at yeah. Cleveland Field, we've had a good crowd. Some of them have already gone home with a 35-point lead of Valdosta State. Crowd projection around 9,000. And I believe we're ready to go. The officials are discussing something with Coach Jesse McClarty. I believe his team was charged with a timeout when one of the players, one of his receivers, lined up with his jersey, pulled up over his shoulder pad. Apparently, that's what the problem was. The officials called a timeout of their own. We don't know just yet for sure whether or not that has been charged. That timeout has been charged. Yes. They gave it to Clark College. All right, there's the indication. We're ready to go. Third and 26 from their own. Fourth, 19-yard line. Little setback for receivers. Blazers have 5-3 up there on the line. Rolling right. Here comes Dougal. He gets it off. Almost intercepted, and it is. Deflected and caught by number 40. That's Mallory. Scott Mallory. Scott Mallory coming over to cover from his linebacker spot. Took the deflection off Massey's hand at the 30-yard line. Interception, VSC again. Good field position. Credit the pass defense that time, Joe. Combination of linebacker and defensive back. The Blazers very stingy against the pass last year, and that trend continues this year. All right. Mallory still in the quarterback. Montgomery and it looks like Williams back there with him. Two receivers out wide to the right. Clark in a 4-3, jumping around. Quick counter handoff inside. 5, 10, 15. Down to the 13-yard line. That's the speedster Williams. Michael Williams had a flag down. Back at the line of scrimmage. Did Clark get offside? Did they jump off and not get back in time? Let's see. Offside. Yes, charged. The Clark College declined. 17 quick yards for Michael Williams on a little quick counter play. Little trap right up the middle. And he had room and he turned it on. Well, you say it had a good clue to his speed right there, Joe. When that hole opened up, he was through it and threw it in a hurry with good yardage. First and 10. Blazers, another scoring opportunity. Same formation, two receivers wide right. Remember, they run out of a split back beer. Same play, same guy. Williams fights down to the nine. Tough going in there. Hard hitting. Execution very has been very good for Bla the Blazers on the last two plays. Terry Mallory uh, finally getting into some kind of rhythm. The Williams, uh, the, when he had said, oh, he's going to be through it in a hurry. Willis Hubbard, guard out of Decatur on the stop. Second down and about seven from the Clark nine. Same formation. Bowling right this time, wants to throw. Mallory got a man in the corner, overthrew him. Had to lead him, diving. And the ball goes incomplete. He tried to hit Bruce Stalls, diving for the corner in the end zone. Play developed nicely. There was, you have to credit Clark with uh, good coverage on it. They smelled it out pretty well and uh, brings up a third down in them. About six, I would say. Ball on the near side hash marks. Max Vickers in at one of the backs. Two men out wide to the right. Clark put six men up close. Mallory. Option rolling right. Turns it in. Got room. Down toward the goal line. Touchdown! <laughs> and a flag. Another penalty flag. Hold everything. Offside. Clark College declines. Touchdown. It's Sam. It's 41 to nothing. Another example of Mallory's ability to make yardage when there really wasn't much of a hole there. Sure did, Bill. That wasn't much of a hole at all. 
And he just turned it in there and kept going. And he gets nine yards and a touchdown. <clears throat> Blazers pulling it on. 7.26 still to go in the third quarter. Keith Moore to kick. I wonder if we'll see Brad Bauer before this is over. Doug Hunter to hold. Oh, Blazer fans have to be happy right now. The delay is because Samuel Nelson, a linebacker, was shaken up on the play and is now helped to the sideline. That's the second time he's been carried off tonight. He's carried off once in the first half. It's been a long night for him, I'm sure. All right, Hunter holds. More to kick. It's set down. Good driving kick. Good. 7.26 to, oh, to go, third quarter. But off to say 42. Clark College, nothing. 30 seconds timeout. Blazer Football Network. Banking is a very personal business, and Park Avenue Bank is proud of the close ties it has with its customers. The people at Park Avenue Bank have the experience and training to help you make the wisest choice in all your investments, no matter how small or how large. They can advise you in planning for a secure future. Park Avenue Bank is large enough to offer you all the services you'll find at any bank, but not too large to overlook a single customer. Come to Park Avenue Bank for a very personal type of banking. It's Valdosta's only locally owned bank, so it puts you first. Joe Williams and Bill Ryan back at Cleveland Field. Bill, we're approaching the Valdosta State record. Well, as far as for points scored in a single game, you have to go back to the initial VSC campaign back in 1982. They scored 48 against Kentucky State up in Frankfort, Kentucky, and they are getting very close to that uh, point right now as they've scored 42 points in half the third quarter and all the fourth quarter remains. Kick that up now on the far side, takes it at the eight-yard line. And he's chopped down as he crosses the 15, gets out to about the 18. And we got a blazer hurt out around the 25-yard line, Bill. Seems like there's been a lot of folks down on the turf tonight. First game for both teams. And while they tend to the injured player, we'll take the 30-second timeout, Blazer Football Network. If America ever had an official taste, it might very well be the taste of Coca-Cola. And now there's a new way to enjoy that great cola taste with new caffeine-free Coke. The can is gold. The taste from Coke. Judge it against any caffeine-free cola. Judge it on big taste, deep refreshment, everything you want from your cola. Coke or new caffeine-free Coke. Either way, you'll say... Coke is it! Both these teams are going to have players bumped and bruised Trainers are going to be busy this weekend. First part of this week. Jerome Jackson, we still not do not have a report on. Renfro came into play, got hurt again. Two now, key members of the Blazer football team. Now I did see Robert Renfro down along the sidelines. Uh, he's standing next to Jay Walls in front of Jimmy Francis down there, Joe. So uh, hopefully his problem is not very serious. And right now it doesn't look that way. But we still haven't seen or heard any word of Jerome Jackson and. Uh, that is not very good at this point. Blazer still down across the way on the far side around the 25 yard line. He's being attended to now. We'll let you know who it is as soon as we can get a view of the numbers. So far a very successful opening night for Valdosta State. 42 to nothing over Clark College. We have 715 to go in the third quarter. And like we mentioned earlier the Blazers now a touchdown and an extra point away from a new school scoring record. Blazer trainer Jim Maddalino over there and uh, uh, you, he, the injured player couldn't be in better hands. Jim, a very experienced trainer, was part of the Florida State athletic training staff just a few years ago and uh, when he was in college, uh, Jim was a, was a student trainer on the uh, 1979 Michigan State basketball team with Magic Johnson, uh, which won the national championship. All right, the player heard is Vince Capice from Tallahassee. Junior linebacker. And he's favoring the right leg or foot. And he's being helped off now. Vince has been with the program since his inception. He's played uh, defensive end and linebacker. He's settled in the past two seasons at that linebacker post and uh, gives that uh, area a little bit of depth. And we're sorry to see him 
uh, in such rough shape right now. All right, we're all set to go. First down and 10, Clark. From their 19-yard line, Baxter and I, two men out wide right. Dropping back the throw, rolling to the right. Got time, going downfield for a bomb. The defender falls down, it's complete at the 40. 35, and finally, drug down from behind at the Blazers, 31. A new face for Clark College in there. Number 80, he's not on the roster. 50 yards on that Sorry. play, Joe. Smith had plenty of time, and he aired one out. The defender, Alvord Mays, fell down. Got a penalty, though, and it looks like it may all be coming back. They're walking the other way. The flag is lying on the 50-yard line. Yes, they're coming back. Another crucial, critical penalty for Clark College. Just guessing here, Joe, uh, we saw the defender fall down at the last minute, and it's possible it could have been uh, offensive interference. All right, they're stepping off the yardage from the 19, 19 and a half, half the distance to the goal, nine and a half yard line, and here's the official call. Pass interference, yes. Offensive pass interference, loss of down. It'll be second and about 20. Well, it won't matter who Clark College is playing, Bill, with these kind of mistakes. <laughs> They're their own worst enemy tonight. Back to the eye, he's got three receivers, two out on the left side. Blazers put seven men up on the line. Going into man-to-man -man coverage. Back to throw. Pressure. They get him. Back at the six-yard line. Is that Brian Northley? Yeah, it looks like Andy Blanchard. Here's another junior college transfer. Came in this winter. Uh, uh, just another one of those uh, young players getting some experience here early in the season. Good pressure put on by the Blazers. As you said, they rushed seven men, left uh, four defensive backs back in single coverage. Vic Crawford is in there, another freshman. He's playing in, in one of the cornerback spots. The nasty bunch defense putting together quite a triumph. It's going to look good when people around read it. This team right now couldn't have more than 20 total yards offense. Formation, back to the eye, pulls in one man close now. Three receivers, back with, with a draw, <clears throat> right off the end zone line. Reeves carries it out to the 10, maybe the 11-yard line. <clears throat> Hill back draw, didn't get much, just a little kicking room. Clock running, 532 third quarter. Again, the Blazers will come back with good field position. Reeves is the leading ground gainer for Clark College in the game, and these figures them at all as far as the Valdosta State defense. He's carried the ball 10 times and he is their leading rusher with 19 yards. All right, single safety is Drew Stoll standing at his own 48. Fitz kicking from his goal line gets off a pretty good kick. Stoll will watch this one go out of bounds around the Clark College 46 yard line. And so again, DSC starts off in Panther territory. And let's check the offense coming onto the field now. A lot of bright, clean jerseys. Running back are Montgomery and Williams. Quarterback is Mallory. That's pretty much the first team offense in there right now, Joe. Not as many new faces there as we've seen on defense. But then again, the, the offense, uh, you know, needs the experience. It's a new offensive formation, a lot of new players, and they need all the work they can get. You're right. 5-2 defense. Receivers both sides. And off left side, jumping in there is Williams. No, Montgomery. He got maybe three or four. Let's see where they spot it. The 42 yard line. Give him four. Second down and six. I know Coach Jim Goodman and Coach Bobby Johns, the offensive coordinator, would love nothing more than to see the Blazers uh, take one in from here. A nice 50 yard drive. Grind it out on the ground. Use some of that clock. Same formation, both sides of the line of scrimmage. Mallory. And off trap right side this time. Williams has three or four more. Close to a first down. Let's see where they mark it. He's going to be close. Down around the 35, 36 yard line. He's going to be about a half yard short. He'll bring up third and in inches. Same play. This one went over right tackle instead of left tackle. 
Mallory brings them up there. Kevin Gray out wide to the right this time. On the option, late pitch. They knock him down at the 35. He got forward enough for a first down. Williams said, but we have flags on the line of scrimmage. And we've had quite a few penalties. Yeah, just to be 11, 11 flags in the first half. Offside. Defense. Well, I imagine once more the Blazers will get a first down off the penalty instead of the run. Even though the run was good, not, not five yards, though. That's the same old story. Clark uh, hurting itself with mistake after mistake, and they pretty much uh, put themselves out of reach of having any chance in this ball game. 42 to nothing. 3.39 to go, third quarter. First and 10 Blazers, just outside the Clark's 31-yard line. He puts Gray and Cody out wide to the right. Back to that split set. And off right side, not much there. Jump again for one or two yards. Williams down to about the 28-yard line. Give him three, second down and seven. Williams has seven carries for 22 yards. He would have had a lot more had he not lost 16 yards on his second carry of the night. But uh, he's shown us signs tonight, Joe. He can really uh, he can really scoot up through the middle with that good speed of his. Same formation. Clark in a 5-2. Counter play inside. Williams fighting for yardage across the 25, down to about the 24-yard line. He'll be about three yards short of the first down. Third down and three. Drew Sauls comes in with the play as Kevin Gray comes to the sideline. <laughs> Mallory, your quarterback. And both receivers go out wide right. One of those kind of off the line of scrimmage on a slot. Seven men on the line. They rush. Mallory being drugged down from behind around the 31-yard line. Good pursuit by Clark. And Russell Brooks, the linebacker who blitzed and followed him right around the sprint out and drug him down from behind. It'll bring up fourth down, far side hash mark, 31-yard line. What do the Blazers do here? Well, I don't think you're going to see Keith Moore's leg come in. They don't need the points that badly, and it's just another opportunity to see what the Blazer offense can do in this type of situation. All right, unbalanced line to the left. Receivers both sides. Clark has seven men up close. Dropping straight back the throw under pressure. Mallory gets it off, got a man open, complete at the 19-yard line. That's a first down. He got Cody on a little short curl around the 19. Complete for a first down, and the Blazer drive is still alive. Kerry Cody has, uh, has all three Blazer pass receptions tonight. He's caught three passes for a total of 42 yards. Uh, the Blazer passing attack uh, less than what you would want. Only three completions out of uh, 11 attempts for that 42 yards. Two men out wide right. Williams, Montgomery, your setbacks. First and 10, Clark 19. Rolling right, looking. Mallory's gonna keep it. Stick his head down and get about three, four yards close to the 15. Let's see where they spot it. Getting up off the pile, Maverick Wade, a sophomore defensive end, 212 pounder. They say he got just across the 16. Let's give him a long three. Second down and a short seven. 45 seconds, third quarter, 42 nothing still. Got off the state, and the Blazers are threatening again. Just like many of their other opportunities set up by critical Clark College mistakes. Same formation. Mallory coming left. Hand off. They need him. Well, I think I, I lost track of something there, Bill. Sorry. We're all the way down to the three-yard line. Right. Cl uh, Clifton Montgomery was the Montgomery. carry. Montgomery. And he's got a first down, 11 yards. Well, I took the fake. I think half, about three-fourths of the Clark defense did, too. First and goal. And the Blazers on the move again. That should be the last play of the third quarter. Four seconds, clock running. The Blazers come up to the line. They'll never get it off. Third quarter is ended at Cleveland Field. First and goal from the three. Valasca State driving again and leading 42 to nothing. 30-second timeout, Blazer Football Network. 
don't get down in the dumps this winter fretting over that old inefficient heating system, call Scruggs Heating and Air at 242-6350. Scruggs Heating and Air is a participating dealer in Georgia Power's Good Sense Heating and Cooling Program and is interested in checking that old inefficient system and replacing it with a reliable, high-efficient heat pump. So call Scruggs Heating and Air today and quit fretting over that old worn-out system. That's Scruggs Heating and Air, 242-6350. Well, they wind the clock back to 15 minutes. That's the time we have left. The fourth quarter in Cleveland Field, Valdosta State leading 42 to nothing. And a first and goal at the Clark, four and a half. Call it the four-yard line. Ray Lloyd over the ball. Mallory, your quarterback, plays his go to the wishbone. Vickers, Williams, Montgomery, two tight ends. Everybody in tight. And off going right, looking. Montgomery headed for the goal line. Get, does he get in? They stop him about four inches shy. He's close, but not close enough. Good cutback running by Montgomery that time, taking the ball inside. They're going to mark him just an eyelash in front of the goal line. Second down, very short for a touchdown. And remember, the point after, if they score here, would be a new BSC scoring record. It goes from the old mark of 48, scored against Kentucky State back in the initial campaign. And the Blazers en route to their first ever opening day win. Mallory, cross up in the backfield. Vickers will be knocked down for about a three, four yard loss. Back to the four yard line. Mallory and all three backs collided. A real jam up. It's a wonder the football didn't pop loose and Clark College come up with it. That'll bring up third and about four and a half or five yards. Clark College player, a little, a little, a little slow to get up. Two of them, in fact. Chris Cody, one of those. And That's nothing out of the ordinary tonight, Miller. though. A bruising football game for both sides. Two men go wide left, Drew Stalls and Gary Cody. Split back offense. Split back beer. Clark in a man-to-man. -man. Mallory looking it over. Going the other way. Inside, touchdown, Williams. Right behind Wayne Ham and Keith Bonnell. They cleared the pass. Five yards, touchdown. It's 48 to nothing. Good blocking by the VSC right side of the uh, the right side of the VSC offensive line that time. But everybody with a tight end on the left side. Went back to the split back veer. Quick handoff right side. Nice hold on the right side. Four to kick. Back to the hold. And he puts that one over William Street. That is good. Keith Moore having a good night. 13-10 to go in the game. Your score now about up to state 49. Clark College nothing back in 30 seconds on the Blazer Football Network. It's a Zuzu's half-price sale in progress right now, where you can save on a short wheelbase four-speed gas pickup truck as low as $54.95 plus freight and tax. We need to sell 60 trucks by September 14th, year in closeout time. Beat the 85 price increase. Hurry in now to a Zuzu Valdosta. Zuzu Valdosta, 1012 North Ashley, open Monday through Friday, 9 till 7.30, Saturday, 9 till 6. Back at Cleveland Field, Bill. Well, scoring drive. Well, the scoring drive uh, don't have the exact total on it, but it came with uh, the scoring play came with 13-10 left in the game. Michael Williams, a four-yard run. Keith Moore kicked the extra point, and it is 49 to nothing, Valdosta State. And that eclipses the old-school single-game scoring mark of 48 set back in 1982 when uh, Valdosta State defeated Kentucky State up in Frankfort, Kentucky, 48 to 18. Keith Moore. His leg getting a workout in the game opener. He kicks again. And it's a line drive kick. Reeves will let it bounce and take it on the hop at the three. To the 15. Crossing to the right side. He's nailed at the 15-yard line. That's all. Good hit put on by Fitzgerald Williams, a freshman out of Blackshear. Well, the Pierce County team. Just a little bit of trivia for you, Joe. Uh, 
the Blazers have already scored more points tonight than they did in their first five ball games last year. As you know, after that point in time, after the sixth game, they came on to win four of the last five. First and ten, Clark at their own 14 and a half yard line. Smith, still your quarterback. Quick count, dropping straight back the throw. Got time. Now the pocket's closing down on him. He still gets it off. Got a man open at the 30. 35 and shoestring tackled at the 38. He hits Spencer. Dropped by Quentin Reed. Reed has an interception on the night. Mark Lawson almost batted that pass down again. He was almost there, but uh, the receiver was wide open. And another, that is the longest Clark College gain of the evening. And Moultrie freshman, defensive tackle John Norris in there. Clark comes up into an eye. The Blazers put six men up tight. Tailback draw, right side, he got a hole. Five, ten, first down, out to the 49-yard line. Good hold. Ball carrier, number 22, who is not on our roster. Seems to have been a lot of that tonight. It's the roster furnished by Clark College, folks. A mystery running back that time. Back to back first downs, first and 10. They're near midfield at the 49. Back split wide. Smith dropping straight back. Over the middle. Flag down over the receiver's head. Ball's incomplete. That flag's flag. all over the play. Yeah. One at the line of scrimmage, two in the secondary. The officials confer. Just underway, fourth quarter. 49 to nothing. Bout off the state. And here comes the call. Pass interference. Offense. Second time tonight. Again. This is incredible. Guys come up with a big first down and come right back and slap themselves with a 15-yard penalty. They've been doing it all night long. Well, they're well over 100 yards in penalties. And uh, they've been pretty consistent. They've been penalized from just about every drive this game. Well, that'll bring up first and 25. Line of scrimmage now to Clark College 34. And the Panthers find themselves 66 yards away. Blazers reaching for a shutout. The nasty bunch. As many of them on that depth chart have seen action tonight. Back to the nine. Two receivers wide right, rolling right. Lost the throw. Now forced out of the pocket under pressure. They've got him way back around the 17. Norris. With help. Merrick Faulkner was in there too, Joe. Another one of the uh, reserves on the nasty bunch in there giving Smith all he wanted. Both those guys freshmen. You like to see that. Getting some playing time and playing well. Clock running 10:45, fourth quarter. Third down and get out the calculator. I don't know if I can count that far. We'll call it 40. I think that's about right. 40 yards. Third and 40. Think, what do you think they're going to do? We're about to find out. Blazers go into a 4-4. Man-to-man -man coverage. Deep drop back zone. A little short pass over the right side. Was not anywhere close, and the receiver paid for it. Boy, did he ever. Andy Blanchard came up and rung him one. He's still down. Been a lot of that going on tonight. These two teams have hit each other tonight. No question about it. They have hit. And they both got injuries to show for it. Jerome Jackson has not reappeared since he was carried off in the first quarter. Renfro got in for a little while. He's down there with the team now, but he came off hurt again. We'll try to give you a number on the injured player in just a moment. Fourth and 40. Do you realize the punt may not travel the distance of a first down here? Uh, probably won't. <laughs> He's going to be standing about uh, on his own 15 or well, about the 12, probably, to punt this ball away. The Clark College player still down, working on one of his ankles. Rubbing might be a, a cramp. 10-12 to go in the ball game. 49 to nothing. Valdosta State. 
Good crowd of about 9,000 turned out to Cleveland Field tonight. We hope you'll all be back on September 29th when a very, very fine institution brings a very, very fine athletic program in here, Jacksonville State. A pretty good chance Valdosta State will have its best chance ever of defeating Jacksonville State. The Gamecocks are definitely in a rebuilding year. Of course, uh, people say they just they don't rebuild, they just reload. But, well, in this uh, case, we're talking about new coaches and new systems well, as well. Charles Fuller, the old coach now at Alabama as a, an assistant coach. And uh, a lot of changes in the Gamecock uh, program right now. And it'll be interesting to see what kind of football team they'll be able to field this year. I'm sure it'll be very competitive, knowing the past history at uh, Jacksonville State. Uh, of course, Charlie Pell has, put, has coached there as well as others. And it's... Uh, it's one of the best Division II programs in the country with a long and rich football history. Well, we have a delay on the field with the injured player. Let's take this 30-second timeout on the Blazer Football Network. Most banks offer the same financial services. The difference is how these services are delivered. At Park Avenue Bank, they give each of their customers personal attention, and you always get friendly, helpful service, whatever your banking needs. Park Avenue Bank is Valdosta's only locally owned bank. It's dedicated to Valdosta and the people of this area. At Park Avenue Bank, the primary goal is meeting banking needs of the people right here at home and promoting our local prosperity. They put you first at Park Avenue Bank. Well, the Clark College Panther is still hurt. They're still attending to him. Blazer trainers are out with Linda Sisson. Fourth down and 40. Just about at worst, but the state should come up with possession around midfield. And the player is going to be carried off. Let's, let's see if we can get a number. Definitely some kind of a leg injury. It definitely doesn't look too good for him either. With the teammates around him, we can't spot the number. That 22? Might have been that mystery running back whose number is not on our roster. I believe that's who it is. All right, Pitts will stand on his five-yard line to take the snap. Stalls back in his 40, giving him plenty of room. They set up the return. Good high spiral. Oh, a booming kick. Driving Stalls back to his 29. And they've got him held. He gets away out to the 35 to the 40. And a flag. A little extracurricular activity going on. Yes, it's getting kind of wild out there right now. A lot of pushing and shoving after the whistle blows, and uh, we'd hate to see something serious come out of all this shoving. But I believe they're going to uh, tack on an extra 15 yards for a personal foul. Nope, flip against the Blazers. Got to back it up to their 24. The quarterback on for about up the state is Doug Hunter. Wilbur Williams, one of the running backs, a freshman out of Woodbine, Georgia, will come on. Good ben Reeves, tight end out of Valdosta. Brian Banks, tackle out of Albany. All in the lineup now. Larry Tatum, the center, a freshman out of Birmingham. Doug Hunter, your quarterback. Doug played part of the first half and uh, was, let's see, let's check out our statistics. He was one for two throwing for with a seven-yard completion. He threw one interception. And, you know, Joe, it's really not surprising to see Hunter in the game. When uh, Coach Goodman talks about his quarterbacks, he talks about Mallory, Hunter, and Dace, and he's not scared of using either one of them, as he says. And off Williams, they beat him at the line. He'll get about one, maybe two yards across the 25. Somebody grabbed him just at the handoff. Ronnie Millen. That's a new running back. Well, that's Wilbur Williams, not Michael Williams. Rusty Rivers and Arthur Webb come in. Webb, a wide receiver out of Jacksonville, a freshman. Rivers, sophomore out of Fort Myers. Under your quarterback. Roland Wright on the option, cuts it up. Not much there. They knock him down at the 27. The other back back there with Williams is Brisbane. 
Second time in tonight, a, a freshman out of Jacksonville. Third down and seven. Darrell Mason, a wide receiver, brings the play in. You know, I would imagine that it's ex experimentation time for the Blazers. They're up 49 to nothing, less than 10 minutes to go in the game, and they're either going to be content to move it on the ground or they're going to try something new. There's one man out wide to the left, and then we get an official timeout for an equipment problem. Russell Brooks will leave the field at number 61. Who does not have a listing on the roster will come in for him. Now we're set. They start the clock. 8.39, 8.38, fourth quarter. 49 to nothing, South the State. Split back. Backfield. Receivers out both sides. Dropping straight back. Right in the middle of a large group of Blazer defenders. Incomplete pass. Stops the clock at 1.34. The nasty bunch hanging on for a shutout. 49 to nothing. Smith, receivers wide both sides. GSC in a loose 5-3-5-4. Five, five, deep zone coverage. And he's going deep down the sideline. He's got a man open and overthrows him by 10 yards. Leon Booker broke open on a fly pattern down that sideline. Was 10 yards below the defender, Vic Crawford, a freshman out of St. Petersburg. He'll relive that one in dream after dream. And if the image isn't too clear, you know the coaches will show it to him tomorrow and Monday. So he'll have a firm impression of what <laughs> happened. That's what, he, that's what they want to do, though. That's what they want. They want the freshman playing now and seeing and learning. Smith, Hail Mary, left side, out of bounds. Al Boyd May is back there defending. Uh, just another one of the young Blazer players. And let's face it, it's garbage time right now. The, both teams just going through the motions to get this game over, but uh, very promising to see all these young Valdosta State players in the game. This is one of the few games I can remember where uh, Coach Jim Goodman has had the luxury of running in a lot of young players. Fourth down and 10 from their own 46. Clark has stalled again. Pitts on to kick, standing at his own 34. And Saul standing at his fourth, his 16. We get flags on the staff. And boy, Pitts puts one up there again. He's a good-looking kicker. The illegal procedure called against Clark. Unbelievable. The penalties, the miscues, lining up offside. What, three, four times tonight they've committed that one. Offensive pass interference twice. twice. Throwing the ball uh, after he, the quarterback, of course, on the series before this one, passing after he'd passed the line of scrimmage. A minute eight. They'll start it up, 107, 106. 64 seconds to go as Pitts takes the snap. Plenty of time, gets off a pretty good kick. Saul, that is 15. Coming to the right side, somebody knocks him down. Good tackle by Nelson. And Nelson collapses to the ground, perhaps out of exhaustion as much as anything else. He's played on both sides. He's already been hurt twice, carried off the field once tonight. And he's down again. A good, a good arm tackle, really, as Stalls was trying to put on a move and get around him. Nelson knocked him down. First and 10, Blazers at their 17-yard line. Quarterback is Mark Dace, Wilbur Williams, and Brisbane behind him. Freshman receivers out on the flanks. Clark put six men up close. Days looking at him. 43 seconds. Dropping straight back. Good pressure. He'll lose one man. Throws a long one down the sideline. Good coverage out there. No flags as the ball falls. Pitts and the wide receiver Arthur Webb, a freshman out of Jacksonville, bumping along the way. The ball fell through the turf. Second and ten. Ace, uh, Dace aired one out. Showing us a little bit of arm there. We haven't seen him try to throw deep, and uh, uh, the indication there is that uh, he has that cap capability. Fitz, who has played both ways, is also the kicker. Showed good stamina there, good conditioning. He stayed, stayed up with uh, Webb step for step. Second and 10, 12 seconds off the clock, 31 to go. And off 
Brisbane inside. They jam him up at the line of scrimmage. He might have gotten one. Middle of the line wouldn't let him go anywhere. Clock running 21. That might have been the last play. Let's see. Player's awfully slow to get up. Clark doesn't want another play run for sure. 13-12. It's going to end right here, folks. The 1984 season opener. A big success, to say the least, for the Valdosta State Panthers. They're trying to get one play off. The crowd chanting. Two seconds. One second. He got it off. Dace rolling left, looking under pressure. They knock him down around the 13-yard line. Somebody broke through. The ball game ends right there. He was trying to throw deep. No question about that. Your final score at Cleveland Field. The Blazers get off to a rousing start in 1984. Valdosta State, uh, 49. Clark College, nothing. Back for post-game activities after the 60-second timeout on the Blazer Football Network. If America ever had an official taste, it might very well be the taste of Coca-Cola. And now there's a new way to enjoy that great cola taste with new caffeine-free Coke. The can is gold. The taste from Coke. Judge it against any caffeine-free cola. Judge it on big taste, deep refreshment, everything you want from your cola. Coke or new caffeine-free Coke. Either way, you'll say... Coke is it! Don't get down in the dumps this winter fretting over that old inefficient heating system. Call Scruggs Heating and Air at 242-6350. Scruggs Heating and Air is a participating dealer in Georgia Power's Good Sense Heating and Cooling Program and is interested in checking that old inefficient system and replacing it with a reliable, high-efficient heat pump. So call Scruggs Heating and Air today and quit fretting over that old worn-out system. That's Scruggs Heating and Air, 242-6350. Joe Williams and Bill Ryan back at Cleveland Field. The good news, Valdosta State a winner in their season opener, 49 to nothing. Now to mend a few bumps and bruises and go on the road for two straight weeks off to Savannah State last year. A team that BSC had to come from behind to just barely nip in the final minutes of the ball game. And then on to University of Tennessee at Martin, 700 and some odd miles from here. But uh, that's our conference opener, Bill. And uh, hopefully we can go in there with a 2-0 roll and maybe get a win, first conference ball game, and then back here for our next home game on September 29th, the final.